Hey what's up guys this is Akshay from AS Learning and today I am back with another video and today we will be seeing sentiment analysis using BERT okay so I have already made one video on BERT and it and it was regarding spam classification using BERT end-to-end -end project of text classification if you, if you want to check that video it is there in the description okay before starting with the video I will tell you something which I have been observing one year down the line, deep learning was a neat skill, okay. RNNs, LSTM, CNNs were something which very few knew how to train. And today, deep learning is a mandatory skill for any data scientist. And trust me, one year down the line, transform architecture is going to be at that place. Transform architecture, then transfer learning. Today, some people know it very nicely, not most of the crowd know it, but the way this is being taught and expressed out on platforms like Udemy and YouTube, this is going to get mainstream for sure. Okay, so back to our today's video and today we'll be seeing sentiment analysis using BERT. So uh, first of all, we'll be using transformer library which ha which is being maintained by hugging face a huge shout out to these guys they are doing amazing work then the model name is bird based multilingual uncased sentiment it is it's a sentiment model basically uh, based on pytorch basically a text classification model we will be classifying text into classes positive negative uh, has been providing support to six languages okay english dutch german french italian it is giving the sentiment of the review so the, so the model will be giving the output between stars one two three four five okay four five stars and one will be indicating a negative sentiment and five will be positive sentiment the more it is towards five it's more positive the more it is towards one it's more negative okay it it has been trained on product reviews okay and uh, you, uh, you can see the, see the number of reviews on which it has been trained not much actually not much only few uh, few thousands i'll say so the accuracy can go for a toss i'll say so this is the accuracy which they have shared with us when it was tested on 5000 unknown data set exactly bang on on those stars this is the accuracy not very uh good numbers but if we just consider accuracy off by one star pretty good above 90 okay so this is the open uh, api which they have given so let's test it out let's first test a positive english statement i like you i hate you so Let's see how it goes. Okay, as expected, it's more towards five stars. Okay, okay, wait a second. It's I like you, hate you. It's a mixed word. My bad. I like you, I love you. Yeah, this should be more towards positive. Makes sense. Now let's go for a negative statement. I let's go for I dislike you, I hate you. Yeah more towards one star okay so this is for english okay let's try the uh, similar thing for german or any other language which they have said i've already tested german so i'm uh, <laughs> i'm telling you german i dislike you and hate you okay so this is a negative statement It should be more towards one okay it, it, it is more of one star but as you can see even five star has a lot of probability distribution located then uh, let's test it for a positive statement hope so it will perform better there i like you and uh, love you so Hope so it is more towards five. Bang on five. Okay, so the so this is uh in the documentation part. Let's uh uh test it in code. Okay. 
so for uh, coding i have uh, tested it on a google collab all you need to do is just do a pip install transformers okay then uh, from transformers just import pipeline uh, create f string of the statement which you want to enter so here i have uh, entered a negative statement as you can see and i'm just passing it out two parameters one is task task is my text classification and my model name and it is just printing me the label of it so because it's a negative statement it is more towards one star okay let's see yeah it's more to a one star and even the score is very nice 92 now let's test it for a positive statement uh what a great guy is good and awesome let's say this it should be more towards five star man gone five star and even the score is good okay so that's it with this guys it was a simple tutorial on doing sentiment analysis using bert do check out the spam classifier using bert which is there in the description and stay tuned to as learning for more such amazing tech stuff take care peace out